In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I welcome you to another episode of Good Night Soul Digest. Our topic for today is Always choose praise and worship over worry. You are highly welcome. How was your day today? You are still hearing the voice of Father Santos Mario. You are highly welcome. So when we encounter difficulties in life, when we have problems, it will always force us to feel so sad, worried or depressed. But when we find ourselves in such situations, we are left with two choices. And whichever choice we, we take or we choose, we always have this effect on us. So we are left to choose either to praise and worship God despite the circumstances or to worry and feel sad because of the circumstance. In 2 Chronicles chapter 20, King Jehoshaphat and the people of Judah were surrounded by three major armies. So first of all, they became so worried and, dis- and distressed. It didn't look as though they had a chance. The king didn't know what to do, so he cried to the Lord. Jehoshaphat gathered the people together, lifted his eyes toward heaven and prayed. He asked God, he said, Lord, for we have no power to face this vast army that is attacking us. We do not know what to do, but our eyes are on you. Check 2 Chronicles 20 verses 12. After his prayer, God answered his prayer. Then God ministered to Jahaziel to tell Jehoshaphat not to be afraid or discouraged because of the vast army. For the battle is not his, but that of God. He says, the battle is not your battle, but my own battle. God told the people to march right into the enemy's camp, singing and shouting praises on their way. So Jehoshaphat appointed men to sing and praise the Lord, despite the seeming challenge. Then as they were singing praises, the men who came to fight Jehoshaphat turned against themselves and started to fight against themselves. And no one was left. They killed everybody. And no person was left. So, these people, the people, the people of Judah, were only praising God. And God, through his power, delivered Jehoshaphat from the vast army. Notice this. These people turned their war. Initially, they were warring. Okay? So, when God, when God now spoke to Jehaziel to tell Jehoshaphat to praise, to praise and not to worry. God was telling Jehoshaphat to praise and not to worry about the problem. So, today, the simple secret that God gave to Jehoshaphat and also given us today is to always choose to worship and praise God over worry whenever we encounter problems whenever we encounter troublesome situations the best thing is to choose to praise and worship god despite the problem so god did not tell joseph to worry god did not tell him to cry god did not tell him to feel sad in fact there is nowhere in the bible that god told any person to start worrying but God told Jehoshaphat to praise, to praise and worship him despite the problem. So God knows that there is power when we praise him. So when you have problem, choose to praise and worship God and not to kill yourself with worry. Worrying over the problem can never bring anything good. Rather, 
it will make you feel so depressed, feel so sad, making you feel if making you feel so down, even it can make you feel sick. Okay? But when you praise God, you activate the power of God. You stay in positivity instead of negativity. So praise and worship in the midst of difficulties carry great power. This is what Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did in Daniel chapter 3. Paul and Silas also did the same thing, I think, in Acts 16. So whenever you are faced with problems or challenges that may cause you to worry and lose faith, choose not to lose faith either. Okay? Choose praise and worship God. Choose faith. Choose praise. Choose worshiping God. So stop worrying. Worrying can never bring anything good in your life. Okay? When you encounter problems, choose to praise your God despite the problem. There is power in praises especially in the time of difficulties so beloved as you listen to this message tonight may god never forsake you may you have a blissful night rest and may the angels of god be there for you tonight may nothing happen to you therefore i bless you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen if you listen to this message and you like it, please try and subscribe and also share to others. May God bless you and may God be with you. Amen.